Hi, I'm Sean Crothers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at HTC's HD7 phone running Windows Phone 7. This episode, we're going to show you how to add an external email account that's not one of Microsoft's services. Now, when you did initial setup on your phone, it'll ask you for your Windows Live ID, and that'll automatically set up any Microsoft-based mail services like Hotmail or Windows Live Mail. But you may have other email accounts that you want to use, say your Gmail account, or something set up by your ISP, or even your company. You can add those into this as well. To get started, click on the Windows Start button, click on the right arrow, and then go down and choose Settings. Tap on Email and Accounts. Then tap on the plus beside Add an Account. You want to choose the type of account you want to add here. This could be an Outlook account from your workplace, Yahoo, a Gmail account, or it might be an account from your ISP or your company. And when you first signed up with your ISP, you probably got a username and password for your email account. This is what you're going to want to use here. If you have an account from your company, you may or may not have gotten that information from your local IT support. They may have set that up for you. So if you want to get that set up, you may have to ask them for the proper settings for both your username and password, as well as any local server settings that you might have to custom configure. We're going to tap on Other Account here because we want to set up something for our Butterscotch email address. For most of these types of setups, it'll now ask you for your email address and your password. It'll use it to try to guess what your server settings should be based on what your email address is. This may or may not work. Once you've entered the information, tap on Sign In, and it'll start the process of trying to guess what your settings should be. If it fails the first time, tap Try Again. If it fails again, an Advanced button will appear, and this is where you can start to enter custom configuration settings for your server if what you have as your email address isn't exactly what you need to enter into these settings. Once you tap on Advanced, you have a couple of options. We're going to tap on Internet Email Account, but if you use an Exchange server, you want to choose that one instead, and then enter in your specific Exchange settings. Make sure your personal settings at the top are correct. Then you'll need to enter in your service settings for incoming and outgoing email addresses. It'll ask you to choose what type of account this is going to be. You'll use POP if you're pulling information from the account, or IMAP if you're working off the server. Make sure your username and password are correct. In some cases, you may have to use your entire email address as your username. If you actually need to log on to send email as well as receive, you'll want to go down to the bottom and make sure that that item is checked. And there's also an advanced button at the bottom. Tap on this, and it'll give you options for whether or not you need to use SSL encryption for sending and receiving email. There's also an option at the bottom for determining how often your email client will check for new content. Then once you have everything configured the way you want, click on Sign In, and then you're done. Assuming you've entered in all your information properly, it should authenticate your account, and then start to pull in your information. Now the account that you've just added will appear as an icon on your home screen, just like Hotmail did before. So you can see the account name and how many messages are waiting for you. And you can tap on it, of course, to open it up and start interacting with your email. Well, let's look at adding an email account on your HTC HD7 phone running Windows Phone 7. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series. We'll show you other ways of interacting with your HD7 and Windows Phone 7. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at Butterscotch.com.